Hey guys, welcome back to Vince Vell Customs. Today I'm going to share with you a little bit of a uh, experiments I've been doing and it's kind of cool what I've been learning. Um, basically, uh, the goal is, this is the uh, Rogue Age of Apocalypse statue I'm working on and her neck piece here is kind of metal. So, the goal what I want to do is I want to paint it up metal, but I didn't want it like a mirror, like a really crazy mirror outclad chrome look to it because it didn't, it really didn't feel like it was really that crazy uh, metallic but it still was metal um, the goal is I'm gonna paint it a uh, green metal and then put these pieces on around it so it looks like the magneto type neck piece but for Rogue in Age of Apocalypse so uh, Garage Kit Colors makes a acrylic chrome um, now when I first started using it I really just didn't know what it could do and what it can't do and you know the goal was you make it acrylic chrome where it kind of is like, you know, I don't have to use Alclad and get that, you know, harsh fumes and go through that whole process. Um, but I'm a creature of habit. I pretty much stick with my um, Alclad chrome process for when I really want that super shiny chrome look on stuff. But the, after experimenting a lot with this acrylic chrome, I'm finding out some really cool things you can do with it. Now, it's actually different than if I was to use Tamiya chromes or any other kind of type of chrome company stuff the stuff is actually kind of cool now what I've learned is when I did my Age of Apocalypse uh, Magneto version I put this acrylic chrome into a bottle and I put like a very drop one drop of Badger uh, opaques into it I mixed it together and it was really cool looking and I like what happened with those colors so the goal is I'm going to do the same thing with this but I'm going to do it with green now the reason why I use the Badger is because I find that Badger is so potent I mean it's very liquidy, it's almost like ink. It's not really almost paint, it's like really just strong potent. And I like to use badger colors for mixing with paints because it really brings out a lot of colors. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this up, I'm going to show you how it mixes because all you really do you need a drop or two and you get like a, you get an acrylic chrome color out of this uh, process. And then basically I just paint it up there. And it come across now. The, when I find that it's very liquidy, so basically you can't really spray heavy. You got to go kind of light. If you spray very heavy, it'll just bleed underneath the silly putty. So you got to be very careful. And the reason why I silly puttied all this up in here is because I don't want this stuff getting onto anything. Because I find that you really need to seal this acrylic chrome after you're done, though, because uh, you got to let it sit. Uh, maybe I'll hit it with a blow dryer, and then I clear coat it with some uh, Future 4 polish. Um, it's a cool little process. It's still experimenting, still learning, so I'm showing you where, you know, if you get something you don't like the paint or you don't like the way it's looking, you might find other stuff for it. So I'm basically finding out that this is really cool looking for this because I also might do the same process, but I might do it on these pieces because right now it's just masked off because I'm going to do black. But then after I do the black, these are supposed to be like a magenta purplish type stuff. So I'm going to do the same thing with this process, but I'll be using a magenta badger for that. So basically we're going to get up to there. I'm going to show you how it mixes and everything. All right, so here we go. Shake this up a bit. Um, let's see, as you can see, it's kind of like a cool little chrome look to it. I uh, don't really need a lot because I'm not doing a lot. And then... Probably throw a little bit more than that just in case. Make sure you have a cap for a bottle when you do this because this way you can always save this paint for something else. And just put one little drop in. If I need more, we'll just uh Yeah, you're gonna have to throw a little bit more in here. starts to turn a little bit greenish and you just keep going until you get to the color you want so it's kind of a so I guess I gotta throw a little bit more I think when I threw in the magenta it was so potent right, here we go now we're starting to get the color I want it's like a really greenish metallic and we're gonna go a little bit more All right, so we'll, we'll go we'll go this far. We'll see how it looks uh, spraying it on. Um, 
basically I have an old airbrush that I'm dedicating to this type of paint. So we're going to kick on the air uh, booth because it'll get a little loud, but I just want to show you guys how it does in real time. So I have this old uh, Badger 100 LG stat, uh, airbrush. Um, it's kind of like I had a bunch of old parts and I put it back together and it works. So it's dedicated to this type of paint so I don't use it for anything else. So we'll pour some of this in here, kick this on. Now looking at it, it's kind of, it's greenish, but it's not green where I want it, so we're going to mix up some more. We'll get some more greens and mixed into this. Like I said, I'm always experimenting, trying new things, seeing where these colors can take me. So we'll do this, throw some more color in here. Uh, I guess we're throwing a lot in here now. I guess different colors do different things. And it is greenish. Okay, let's see where we can go with this one now. So basically, as you can see, it's it's fairly greenish tint, but it's still metallic. You know, it's it's got like that green uh, green hue to it, which is kind of where I wanted to go. And like I said, this uh, acrylic chrome is kind of cool. It really does um, some cool things. The only problem you have to do is you have to let it sit for a couple days, let it really sit because it could rub off on your fingers, and you have to really seal it. But like most stuff, even without clear chrome, you got to do the same thing. Um, you know. So I kind of like the way it goes. Uh, let's, we're going to let it sit for a little bit, see how things go. I, I might do a little bit more of a greenish tint to it. I think maybe we should. Let's let's uh, like a little bit more green in there. Let's uh, see what happens if we uh, put some green right into the... That's where I want it. That's where I want it. Now we're ha now I'm happy. All right. So basically, that's uh, the process. 
Um, I'm going to let this sit for a little while and then I pretty much seal it up. Uh, but it gives you an idea of you know how simple something can do and you get different effects. Now it's not like alkali chrome blowing up just glowing in your face but at least it's uh, chromey and it's really shiny. So it's kind of cool how it looks. Uh, it looks like I sprayed a little bit back here so I'll have to touch that up. So I guess I'll hit it with the blow dryer, go from there and we'll come back after I kind of get all this organized. Okay, the final results of the acrylic chrome uh, green paint. Um, basically, it's not pearl in, in a sense, and it's not really like the metallic uh, paint. It's more chromey. Um, it's kind of hard to see in the camera, and the camera might look like just pearl or something. But it's got more of a sheen to it. Um, it it kind of I like the way it looks when you just add a couple of colors to it. So I'm having a lot of fun with the Garage Kits acrylic chrome, um, showing you that you know instead of just doing flat chrome on something, you can actually add some color to it with this paint, and you can get some cool effects. Um, you know, it, it just encourage some people to try some stuff. Maybe certain brands of paints might look pretty cool, and they might not. Um, I still got other projects down the line where I might mix browns into it, see what browns look like it. Um, you know, I blues, uh, reds, it just. It's just experimenting, seeing what's coming, but I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, I think it really fits this character with this. It kind of gives you that it is a piece of metal around her neck, but it's not crazy chromed out, and it's not um, metallic where it's kind of... Like, to, to my uh, metallics are very grainy, I guess you can say. This is a lot more smooth, so it's a lot of fun. So hopefully you guys like the video. Hopefully it gives you some ideas, and if you're interested in getting the paints, look up uh, garagekitcolors.com, and... Uh, buy a couple, it's pretty cool, uh, and it's, uh, you know, experiment with it, see what happens, and thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.